I've earned 200,000 pesos from buying and selling windbreakers. I've freelanced and offered graphic design and video editing services. This channel started out as a hobby, but now I'm earning money from it. I've tried a lot of things over the past few years para kumita ng pera. And most of these rackets started from a hobby that I like to do or a skill that I learned because I enjoyed it. There's lots of ways to earn money outside having a regular job. Especially sa panahon ngayon, everything is digital and marami ka nang pwedeng gawin para kumita ng pera. In this video, let's talk about how you can monetize your hobbies and start earning money even while you're still a student or if you're looking for ways to earn extra income. Of course, pera pera. <laughs> Yo, what's up friends? Welcome back to this video. If you're new here, what's up money sigo? This video was made possible by the support of our friends at Lazada. Lazada is one of the ways that you can monetize your hobbies and start earning even while you're still a student. If you're looking to start an online business, Lazada is one of the easiest ways to do it. Check the link in the description to learn more, but we'll talk more about the specific how later. When I was 18, one of the goals I set for myself was to become financially independent. Fast forward to today, it's a goal that I've been working on for 4 years now at this point and I'm still not there but I've made some progress and I've learned so much since then. To be clear now, financial independence for me doesn't really mean getting super ultra rich, owning lots of mansions, luxury items, cars, bags, living the baller lifestyle. Nah. The way I would define financial independence for myself is not having money be a significant deciding factor in my life, in my key decisions, in my relationships. I don't ever want money to control what I can or cannot do in the sense that it limits me from pursuing the things that I really want. I don't want to be trapped in a job that stresses and drains me or poses a risk to my health no, just because I'm completely reliant on the salary. I don't want conflicts in my relationships just because of money problems. I don't want to be constantly stressed because of money or the lack of money like not having any. <laughs> it's easier said than done, especially when faced with reality and in the economy that we're living in right now. Alam ko, mahirap. Salita no salita. It's so fun to like talk lang. But actually working towards it, mahirap yon. <laughs> I graduated a few months ago and I've officially started my adulting journey. Call me crazy, but then I am a serial planner. I have an action plan with most of the things that I decide to do. I've been reflecting and preparing my postgrad plans for several months. Actually, one year na yata eh. Like yeah, I have a notion page where I did a life reflection session. Haha. <laughs> And it's mostly because I believe in the concept of lifestyle design. Yung fact na you're capable of designing the type of lifestyle you want to live and then figuring out how you can afford it and make it happen. Part of my lifestyle design includes my financial plans. Of course, pera pera. Kasi syempre, madali lang naman mangarap to say I want this, this, and this. But kailangan mo na maghirap at magtrabaho para makuha mo talaga yung gusto mo. Diba? One of the ways I plan to achieve my goal faster is to establish multiple streams of income. Because if you're just relying on one income source to achieve financial independence, for example, 30,000 pesos per month yung sahod mo, mas matatagalan ka at mahirapan ka talaga to achieve that. 30,000 pesos, tapos financial independence number mo, like you want to have 5 million pesos. Paano yun? No? How long will it take you if that's the only source of income that you have? But if you have 3, 4, or 5 multiple sources of income, then mas madali mo ma-achieve ang financial independence kasi in aggregate, mas malaking kita mo eh. So instead of 30,000, 100,000, 150,000 per month, diba? And another added benefit is that you're not super dependent on one income source na lang. If ever you lose your job, knock on wood, hindi naman sana. Meron ka pa rin other sources of income na pwede mong paghugutan ng gastos. So ayun yung big picture why. Now let's talk about the specific details on actually how. I said I started my financial independence journey at 18 when I was still a student. Paano yun? Paano akong kumita bilang estudyante kung wala pa akong trabaho? There's lots of ways to earn money outside having a regular job. Especially sa panahon ngayon, everything is digital and marami ka nang pwedeng gawin para kumita ng pera. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's possible. Doubling kayat nga lang. And it's also not so much about your age, but more about the skill and the value you have to offer. So don't feel the need to limit yourself, even if you're still a student. Mostly digital na nga ngayon eh, so one of the ways that you can start the side hustle is through online selling. Last year, I made a video where I bought and featured some of your guys' small businesses. So kung naghanap kayo ng idea, you guys can check that video out. When starting a business or thinking of ways to earn money, no, you don't even need to have huge capital to start. You just need a product, a business plan, then you can already start earning from home with your laptop or even just your phone. So once ready ka na, you can make use of an e-commerce platform like Lazada to start selling your products. I think most of us are familiar naman with Lazada. They're the leading e-commerce platform here in the Philippines. They were founded in 2012, so that's almost 10 years na. So they're pretty established and they have presence in 6 Southeast Asian countries. With e-commerce platforms like Lazada, it's a lot easier now to kickstart your online business. If you're still starting out, you might get a bit intimidated to start becoming an online seller. But you don't have to worry kasi Lazada can really assist you from end-to-end -end onboarding process, no? Ano may kailangan mo matutunan so that you can become a successful online seller on Lazada. Whether you're just as an individual or you're an actual business na, Lazada has several options for you to try if you want to start selling online. 
So there's Lasmo. This is for brand owners and official distributors. Meron din yung Lazada Marketplace. This is probably the easiest way and it's open to individual and corporate sellers. You can start selling with just 1% commission fee. And then there's Delivered by Seller. You can handle all of your transactions through Lazada, but you as a seller can be the one to ship it to your buyer straight na. So under this, there's Lazada Fresh. If you're selling frozen goods, mga eggs, frozen meat, is that. Bulky items if you sell furniture, appliances, mga motorcycle. Tapos special handling. Sabihin natin yung G to try online selling. Baka yung next question mo naman is, why sell on Lazada? Selling online removes the cost associated with having a physical storefront. So instead of paying rent, mga electricity, no, kung meron kang sarili mong tindahan, you can just sell online. On Lazada, for example, they offer a lot of benefits for online sellers. There's only 2% commission fee per sale. Tapos they also have free shipping programs and cashback programs to make your products more attractive to buyers. But if you choose to participate in both the free shipping and cashback programs, it's only a 5% fee per sale. So it's a lot more cost-effective as opposed to having a physical storefront. Tapos you also have a dedicated account manager. May matatanungan kang contact directly from Lazada to get assistance when you encounter problems as a seller. And another reason is that there's already built-in traffic and users on Lazada. So you can either be found organically if people are searching for products in the search bar or you can also just link your customers to your store and then they check out through Lazada. Tapos super speed on logistics sa Lazada because unlike other e-commerce platforms, delivery only takes 3 to 5 days lang. You can expect na darating ka agad yung product mo. Tapos under service marketplace, you have access to features like live streaming. Tapos marami rin silang tools to customize your digital storefront. So if you want to put banners of your products, mga promos, categories, you can do that. Lazada makes it very easy to become an online seller. So how do you start selling on Lazada? First, you have to sign up for a seller account. So you just go to the Lazada app, go to the account. So in the upper right corner, you can see there's a button that says sell on Lazada. So you just need to put some information. And then after you go through that entire process, you can start selling and sell your products. Mo. Of the three options, one of the easiest ways is through Lazada Marketplace. This is the most few documents na required. If ever you get lost throughout the process, no, you can check out Lazada University for all of the guides that you need in order to start selling on Lazada. How to sign up, all of the things that you need to know, what kind of commission fee, how do you list a product, how do you start marketing it, and that's it. I've tried a lot of things over the past few years to get money. And most of these rackets started from a hobby that I like to do or a skill that I learned because I enjoyed it. The first one is freelancing. Nung grade school and high school, naging hobby kong gumawa ng mga posters and short videos. I got interested in photography and filmmaking, so I learned how to use GIMP, Paint.net, Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, Premiere Pro for fun. What a weird child. And because of the skills I learned from this hobby, I was eventually able to monetize it and offer graphic design and video editing services. Like I made logos, posters, commercials for businesses, and I got paid for those making money as a student. The my work ko, not the best, but you know, got me paid. <laughs> and for you to start freelancing, especially pag similar creative field, what you really need is a portfolio of your sample works to demonstrate what your skill level is, what you're capable of doing, what mga services ang kaya mo provide sa clients. Tapos, once you have that, you can put it on websites like Behance, Dribble, or even have your own website no, to showcase your portfolio. Tapos, once you have that, you need to be able to clearly pitch your services to prospective clients. No? Ano yung kaya mo yung offer, ano yung package rates mo. Tapos, eventually, close the deal, sign the deal. And ganun, you start from there. And I did this when I was in my first, second year of college. Second, ito na talaga yung medyo marami akong natry. Print on demand, transcriptionist, user experience tester, answering surveys. Basta kung ano yung Google mo, like how to make money, I tried most of those. Hindi ako masyado naging successful sa kumita dito. I didn't find the money that I earned to be worth the time I was putting in. No? I could probably be doing something else and make more. Okay, I abandoned it. But still, I'm sharing because it's one of the things I experimented with so that I can train my brain to find ways to earn money. So yung mga print on demand, like Redbubble, I would design stuff, upload it, tapos if anyone were to see my shop, they would order and I get paid for that. Walang capital, I just profit off of it. Meron din yung transcriptionist. I'm not sure if it's still around, pero go transcript. So yeah, I did that. I would listen to crappy audio, I would like type out the transcript, and I got paid for that. Number three, physical and online selling. So in high school, for one of our subjects, we had an entrepreneurial bazaar kasi. So noong grade then we formed groups and then we had to make like a product, a business plan. For us, it was a food product, burrito. It's like a burger, burrito, fusion. Tapos we sold it. And I also tried this buy and sell thing with windbreakers and I ended up earning 200,000 pesos. I made a video about this. You guys can like watch that for the story. I sold metal straws, nung uso siya. Natry ko na rin yung bumili ako ng sako ng damit. Hinalungkat ko. Like, what are the things that I can resell here? Make it nice, take a picture of it, post it. And last year then, I made and sold merch. Yeah, dami ko na na-try. Training my brain to find ways to earn money. 
fourth internship, syempre, I would get paid an allowance. But ito, mostly, YouTube, content creation. And I started this channel for fun lang talaga, as a hobby, because I like to make videos, and I wanted to talk about the things that I was interested in. And all of a sudden, lumaki yung channel ko, I'm here, and I'm able to work with brands, no, yung mga partnership deals, and earn money from that. AdSense, affiliate revenue. And all of the things I mentioned is just proof that you can make money outside of a regular job, especially when you're still a student. Because I did all of those when I was a student. I graduate ko pa lang. So you can start working towards your financial goals even when you're still a student, even if nag-aaral ka pa. Kahit na bata pa lang tayo, it's possible to earn the same or even more than adults with full-time jobs. Being young is a superpower. We have time and energy. Creative mind lang talaga ang kailangan. Being financially independent would mean having the funds to be able to do whatever I want. Wala pa ako dun, syempre, no? I'm still at the starting line. I'm about to begin my grind years, but I believe in myself wholeheartedly na kayang-kaya ko i-achieve kahit ano man ang gusto ko. And dapat kayo rin. You need to believe in yourself na kaya mong abutin ano man ang gusto mong maabot. Yeah. Kailangan may tiwala ko sa sarili mo na kayang-kaya mo. I'm not here to teach or lecture you guys. What I'm doing is that I'm documenting and sharing the things that I learned as I go through my 20s. This is one of the main reasons I talk about personal finance, investing, and self-development on this channel. And dami ko nang sinabi, but hopefully you guys learned something new from watching this video. Iba rin talaga when you start feeling a sense of empowerment, no? That you actually have control over your life, na pwede kong gawin ang gusto kong gawin. Kailangan ko lang talaga maghanap ng paraan so that I can sustain the type of life that I want. But yeah, check the description to learn more about starting an online business and selling on Lazada. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!